guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's video is about a question I get asked so, so, so much. But the reason I haven't answered this question until now is because I haven't found the perfect product until now. So the question is, what sharpener do you use? I have finally found my dream sharpener and I couldn't be happier. I feel like I want to draw more just so that I can get to use the sharpener more. That is how much I love the sharpener. So to stop you guys from waiting, the sharpener that I have is the School Smart Electric Sharpener. Um, so I have had to go through a process, quite a process, to get the best sharpener and to get it to work and just to, to get it. Um, and the sharpener that I used before all of this was the Derwent battery operated sharpener. So I will be going through the differences between these sharpeners and why I am so in love with the School Smart sharpener. So um, many of you know that I mainly use Prismacolor Premier pencils and the Faber Castell Polychromos pencils. And a lot of you would know if you have experience with Prismacolor pencils, um, they have a fair bit of manufacturing issues in terms of. Um, having a core that doesn't break too much and having a stable sort of casing. So one thing that I have been quite lucky with with my set of Prismas is I haven't had a problem had problems with the whole core falling out of the casing. Thank goodness for that. But I have had breakage problems. So I do find that if you drop a Prisma color pencil, that is the end of the pencil because it just shatters straight through the core. So do not drop your Prisma color pencils if you can avoid it. Um, but other than that, they do tend to break a lot because you can't get them to a very sharp point and they don't hold a sharp point for a long time um, and those are issues that artists don't really want to deal with. I do still love my Prismacolor pencils very, very much but I have found that by using this sharpener, even though it is the sharpest point I've ever seen, it um, doesn't break my prismas. It's the strangest things. And, and I think the reason it doesn't break my prismas is because it's got so much power and it's so quick and there's I think there's little strain on the casing and the core because of the power of the sharpener. So I find with my Derwent electric or with my Derwent battery operated sharpener I have to hold the pencil quite firmly and I think just me holding the pencil that firmly um, puts a lot of strain on the casing and the core while it's getting sharpened and I find it takes longer to sharp with a battery operated one and it's not as powerful so you're putting more strain on it while it's getting sharpened as well as the strain you're putting um, on it with your hand by pushing it into the Durant battery operated sharpener. So I hope that makes sense. I think that's the reason that the breakage with the Derwent um, sharpener still exists quite a lot but with the School Smart sharpener because of the power and um, how fast it is and you're not putting pressure in it while you're holding it into the sharpener um, is what is saving the Prismacolor pencils and helping them keep their point and stop being too much breakage. So I am going to give you an example of the two. So I'll start off with my Derwent battery operated sharpener and I will take a Prismacolor pencil. So here is, um, I don't know where you can see, let's get uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yep. Here's a Prismacolor pencil. So the point is not that much. It's just a short little point. Um, I only think I've used this pencil once or twice. And I am going to sharpen it in my Derwent battery operated sharpener. So this might be hard to see, but I have to hold it in quite firmly. And it takes a little bit to get it to the sharp point. Okay, so that's the, the long point in the Derwent electric sharpener. So that's as the longest point that you will get with that sharpener. Um, so it's not a bad point and it's pretty good. And at this stage, um, obviously, once you start coloring with it, you will get to know when your pencils break more than, yeah, when they break more. So I'm going to use another green pencil, Prismacolor pencil, 
and show you the difference so this is the short sharpening of this the Derwent battery operated sharpener so there's there's two areas that you can use for sharpening and you can either use the shorter one or the longer one so it depends on what you want with the Derwent one I use the shorter one more than the longer one because I found it broke more with the longer one anyway so this is the short one and now I'm going to use my school smart um, sharpener and it has auto stop and it's really really quick and you don't have to hold this very firmly I don't know if you could hear when it did the auto stop but this is the point of this one it's amazing and here is the comparison between the two points so it is a very very nice long point and you might be thinking won't it break even more because it's a longer sharper point actually no I haven't had problems with breakage since I've used this um, on occasion I might press a little too firmly or um, it might be one that has um, not as much of a strong casing so they would break but I haven't found that the breakage has been that much since I've been using the sharpener compared to um, before I got the sharpener so it's really really fast you can sharpen any pencil in there um, it's they say it's not really so much for pastel pencils but you could sharpen your pastel pencils in there if you wanted but I don't use them that much so I don't really know too much about that so we won't go into that but the fact remains that this is just a fantastic fantastic sharpener the downfall that I've had being in Australia is that this is a sharpener from the US and it uses 110 to 120 volts of power and the power points that we have in Australia use double that amount of power and I went through this with my previous sharpener which was a Panasonic sharpener and it started smoking because it was obviously having double the amount of power that was going through a small little appliance that only needed 110 volts of power and that was the end of that sharpener very quickly which was so sad because it was actually giving me really really nice sharp pencil points so the Panasonic um, is pretty much the same as the school smart they're very very close together the only thing is they don't make those Panasonic sharpeners anymore for those in the US that want to know it so the school smart one is the way to go but for those in Australia that still want the sharpener from the US, you can do it. You just have to buy a transformer which changes the 220 volts into two power points of 120 volts each. And that way you can plug two things in there if you want. I don't know if you can hear the humming. Unfortunately, that's the transformer that is humming away. But I have the sharpener plugged into that. And I don't care how big or bulky it is. I'm getting the nicest, sharpest pencil. So I'm extremely happy with the sharpener. So I hope that that was useful. I don't know if it was, but I'm very, very happy with the sharpener. That is what I use. I'll put all the links and everything in the description below. And um, at least there is a way to make it work for us poor Aussies that don't have these great things that the US supplies. But for those in the US, you're lucky you can just plug it straight into your PowerPoint. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.